Kia ora, I'm Harriet. Welcome students and everybody else. Today I'm going to show you how to cone up and down. So you've got your clay, you've wedged it, you've got it centred on your wheel and coning up and down will help to keep the clay malleable, it will help to make sure there's no little air pockets in there. Some people like to do it, some people don't, but I think it's something that's worth learning. So you get back into your centering position, make sure the clay is well centered and then you put your hands either side of the clay. So this part of your hand can press in. Curl your hands around the clay, bring your elbows out and push. I should have said you want to make sure that your clay is wet before you do this as well watered. If it gets at all dry, add some water and push and then come up as the clay rises up your hands come up and you can see that as I come up I'm taking this thumb and I'm just letting it sit on the top and that's to stop any unevenness on the top and you can do that again squeezing as you squeeze your hands the clay has no choice but to move upwards I'm slowing the wheel a little bit for that next push up. So you're going for that sort of cone shape. I can do it once more just to show you. You can go relatively thin and tall. So you can see that that means make sure that all this clay has been well worked while it's going round and that just helps to keep it in the right mood. <laughs> um, and then we're going to push it down. So with one hand, your right hand, you hold it, cup your hand around it, and I want to show you that you can actually push this around a bit and it'll be all right. So I'm holding it with that hand and with this hand, with the palm of the hand, I'm pressing down. And my hands are braced against the wheel, against the bowl of the wheel, and I'm pressing down so as I come down, it goes back to being that um, flat puck shape that we began with. And that's coning up and down. <laughs>